Hawk's original series, Snowfall. Not too long ago, you were happy with just a few hundred dollars. How we grow, huh? Like weeds. Season two follows the ensemble of characters who intersect during the infancy of the crack cocaine epidemic. There ain't enough smokers in LA for all this. Y'all gotta do is cook it up and break it down. I'll figure out how to move it. We asked how this series explores the impact of crack on our culture. This season, uh, crack is in full effect. We yeah. start in 1984 now, so we've moved about six months. Franklin's in full effect with his crew. There's a lot of success from the selling of this drug, and that's bringing a lot of inner and outer conflict. But what you have to decide is just how big you want your business to become and how much control you are willing to cede to get it there. And the story just kind of expands and gets much bigger, and we start to see all the connective tissue between all of these worlds. They're all coming together for this common purpose of uh, selling drugs and, and, and making money in a way that they, they can't understand the long-term consequences. Business is only as good as the people you work with. You mean you work with people who tase, interrogate, and drug you? And people who have you followed. This season's really about these storylines kind of converging and seeing Franklin's world and seeing the CIA in East LA and how it's all kind of interconnected and intertwined. We see how each and every single individual world affects the other. These characters that we set up very well in the first season start to intermingle and meet and deal with each other. And it just gets dicey. So you gonna go and kill the first Mexican you see? That's what you do, man. Ain't your daddy a panther? First season, we were just seeing how they're going about doing it. This season, it's worked. So we get to see some of the, at least, immediate effects. You start to see things unravel. And it's kind of watching this evolution that is going to eventually, it's more than likely, it's going to tear families apart. The better we do, the more tension we get. More people want to take what we got. I brought us out here today, help deal with that attention. We know the effects it has on the community and the streets, but you're going to see that, plus the dramas of the family working together. So it's a really a lot of family dynamic, who's loyal, who's not, who's out for themselves. You're going to be torn as a viewer because, you know, you love these characters, but here they are fighting, so what side are you going to choose? We're about to move into the big leagues. Guess I mean I'm going to be cooking a lot more, huh? Means we all got to step up. We're back at the world premiere of the FX original series, Snowfall. You already lost two people, and now you put three more in jeopardy. You know what? I don't even know why it even happened. Can you talk to us about how the subject matter of Snowfall is still resonant today? You know, people don't really realize how much of an impact the crack cocaine epidemic had on particularly the African-American community, you know, and yeah. it definitely correlates with the opioid crisis which we're seeing today, you know. Contrast in the way that that's being talked about and the way that this epidemic was being talked about is, is really important to uh, analyze and to um, examine, and this shines a light on that moment and says it really doesn't look so different from rural Virginia today. You know how I feel about all of this. You're welcome home when you stop. In Snowfall, we're talking about crack cocaine, but it's relevant to any of our communities. We filmed uh, primarily on location. We were in the neighborhoods that crack cocaine affected then, continues to affect now, and you kind of see the, the real experience. I don't worry about I look worried. You always look worried. It was a typhoon of a situation which you can't do nothing about. It almost, yeah. hit, almost hit like a volcano where you don't know it's hitting, and then yeah. it's there, and it's like, what do we do about it now? When a society can tell a story in hindsight, yeah. it means that it's healing. I think it's a time to look back and not only be nostalgic about the great times, but also see the things that we can fix, and it could help our, you know, our communities and help our young folks. Some of those harsh laws that were given to crack cocaine, yeah. it's not the same with the opioids. So. Hopefully we can move forward in that regard. How are you gonna move 10 keys in a week? Put that away, and I'll tell you. For FXM, I'm Tava Smiley. See you next time.